Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting here on my porch having some iced coffee with all of you. Well, today I've got to get some work done, got to do some weed whacking, weed pulling, probably pull out the machete, and uh, it's going to be like 90 degrees today too. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, but i got to get her done. Yesterday evening, this whole area up around here was completely grown over up to my waist. So I was able to weed whack quite a bit of it down. Um, not all the way to the ground, but pretty close. My weed whacker went dead, so I had to charge it. But these bigger ones back here, I'm going to have to get down with my machete because they're just too thick. And I got all this done over here, too. Cleared that out. And it seems like the next morning, more pops up. All of those right there, um, those are too big for my weed whacker. So I'm going to have to take those down with the machete. So I'll get to those in a little bit. Here's the area down by the street that I wanted to try and take care of today. Um, it actually is a little bit higher than it looks, and I need to get that area around the pole cleared because I want to put something down there. Here's a little closer area. You can see off to the left there, all that stuff by the mailbox. It is just so overgrown, and it looks terrible. Here's the after shot. I actually got quite a bit down. I wanted to clear stuff around that post because i got to put something up there. And the... Uh, mailbox and the mailbox too i was just tired of having all those big huge things coming out practically covering my mailbox so i got it all down i weed whacked quite a bit and then i took down quite a bit with the machete too this still has to go actually uh, most of this stuff this really tall stuff is on my neighbor's property um, my property comes to just about where it starts going up and you can see my whole area is pretty cleared there's a few more places I can get the machete and just knock it down but I did finally get this little area around my mailbox done and it was hard work it was definitely hard work but I did it and over here too this had completely overgrown. It had overgrown my little sign there. This was crawling in vines all over the place and it was just unruly. And it was like waist high, if not higher, all the way up through here. So I got down to, well, you can see <laughs> where I kind of stopped uh, because the weed whacker went dead and I got tired, personally. It was it's like 89 degrees when I did this. It's 92 right now. But at least I got a little bit done. I feel a little better that I at least got something done. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. Yep, it looks perfect there. And now I know there's a bunch of you out there that are going to get hysterical. You're going to get down in my comment section and you're going to say, That's illegal. You can't do that. You know what? All I got to say to you is hold my beer. Well, I got a little bit more done. I tell you what, though, it is too damn hot to be doing this. Sorry for the D word, but that one I couldn't get down and I couldn't pull it out. Got a little bit more done. Got a poplar tree that was growing right here out. I think that I'm going to wait to do the rest of this until it cools down because I feel like I'm going to pass out, to be honest with you. And I want to get all of this done. Um... This whole area back here was overgrown. And see, it's already starting to sprout back up again. But I kind of went through this whole area right back here and just whacked all these weeds. They were at least knee high, if not higher. I cleaned up around here. And there was grass coming up all over the sides of this uh, water catchment system so I got a little bit a little bit more done around there still got my trash heaps I did manage to get this whole big pile of wood that was over here pulled up and moved out of the way I pulled some I think you saw it it was over there by the rain barrels um, I'm gonna see if I can do something with that wood but this is all cleared up and then Mr. Lucas came over yesterday and mowed my lawn and just kind of cleaned this up even better. So 
This area back here is just so nice. It is cool, it's shady. I may go ahead and just put the fire pit right here and uh, kind of make this my relaxation area because it's just really nice back in here. <sighs> Man, it's hot. I also whacked a bunch of weeds around here. They were all over the place. It still needs to look better. I need some more gravel. I want this whole area where you see clay just to be covered in rocks. It'll get there. But check this out. Me of little faith. Ah, uh, remember how there was an anthill in here? And I put diatomaceous earth down. Well, the ants are gone. There's no ants in here. They're all gone. So it usually takes, they say, 48 hours. It took actually twice that long, but the ants are finally gone. So that makes me very happy. <sighs> it is so hot outside. It is 93 degrees now. And I'll tell you what, this heat, it just stops me. <laughs> and I even got I even got going early in the morning, so <sighs> it is still just so hot. So I'm going to wait till it cools down to do the rest of it because I'm going to pass out. But, yeah, I did want to get that sign down at the bottom of the street, and then I got my little alarm thing up here. And, oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. This here. This little flashlight. And stun gun. I tested it the other day. And I don't know if I was holding it wrong. Um, I've got the hand that I hold it in has a ring on it, a metal ring, silver ring. And um, so I... I pressed the zap, and the zap is loud, and I zapped myself, so I'm going to have to, I didn't read the instructions, going to have to read the instructions on how not to zap myself, but it gives an intense amount of electricity. It went in through this hand that's holding the camera over here that has the ring on it, in through that hand, and it came out, and I felt it in my left big toe, and it was like, whew, and I wasn't even in, coming in contact with the end of it right here. So, yeah, this, <laughs> this is amazing. And the light is very, very bright as well. And it also has a, a very bright strobe light. So, <sighs> I'm feeling pretty safe, you know. Anyway, um, I just want to show you some cute footage of Judy and call it a day. Look at her. I am just so glad this dog loves to roll around on this dog bed that the lovely Miss Donna gave us, Donna B. Uh, she sent it for Betty, but Betty was freaked out by it. But Judy, she just loves the heck out of this bed. No. That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.